Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm so glad that you're here today. We are just starting another beautiful day in Wisconsin. Is your day just starting, or is it just ending? Wherever you are, whatever time it is, I hope you are going to have a great day. Are you ready to get started? Okay, put your hands up so we can say hello. Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With the jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? I am so glad you're here today. Are you ready for another great story time? I have two new books today, and they're great ones. I think you'll like them a lot. But before we get to our story, let's sing another song. Do you know what song I'm thinking about? You guessed it! We're gonna sing the song about the winter clothes. So we've gotta get our winter clothes on. The first thing you need is your boots. Go grab your boots. If you don't have boots, that's okay. Just pretend, pull them on your feet. Very good. The next thing you will need is a scarf. Our scarf goes around our neck to keep it warm. Scarves are important. Nice. The next thing you need is a hat. Do you have a snuggly warm hat? Or are you gonna wear a hat with a, bib, a brim in the front? It's called like a baseball hat sometimes. You choose which hat. I'm gonna wear my winter hat. Ooh, it almost covered my eyes. Then I can't see you. That's a bad idea. We need one more thing. Do you remember what it is? Good job! We need our mittens or our gloves. Do I have mittens or gloves? I have mittens, you're right. You can't see my fingers, they're all snuggled together. Are you ready to sing our song? Okay, remember all you have to do is touch the article of clothing as we sing about it. We're gonna start with our boots. Here we go. Boots and mittens, scarf and hat, scarf and hat. Boots and mittens, scarf and hat, scarf and hat. I'm not cold when I put on all of that. Boots and mittens, scarf and hat, scarf and hat. Well done! Shall we sing it one more time super fast? Okay, get your throat ready to sing faster. <clears throat> Are you ready? Excellent. Here we go. Boots and mitten, scarf and hat, scarf and hat. Boots and mitten, scarf and hat, scarf and hat. I'm not cold when I put on all of that. Boots and mitten, scarf and hat, scarf and hat. Well done, friends. I'm so proud of you. You went super fast. Now it's time to take off our winter clothes. Do you know why? Something special's coming next. It's time for story time. I love reading stories with you. And today I have two great stories. They both happen in winter. And one of them is about what happens on a bunch of different days. And one has a surprise present. But they don't think that it's for them. Have you ever gotten a present before? Maybe for your birthday? Or for a holiday? Sometimes getting a present is exciting. 
I like to give presents. I find it exciting watching the person unwrap the present that I picked out just for them. It's kind of exciting. I like to see their face light up. My first story today, friends, is called The First Day of Winter. And it's by Denise Fleming. She's one of my favorite artists, authors, sorry. And this book is about winter. Are we in winter right now? We are. In Wisconsin, we're in winter. But here's the tricky part. If you live in Australia, it's not winter. It's summer there. They have different seasons because they live on a different part of the earth. Yeah, it's very confusing sometimes. But in the United States, it's winter right now. It is. Are you ready for our story? It's a fun one. Here we go. The first day of winter. Oh, guess what? This story is a one that we can sing too. Should we sing it or should we read it? I feel like singing. Is that okay with you? Okay, good. On the first day of winter, my best friend gave to me. Oh, look, here's a calendar. In December, the 21st is always the first day of winter. It's close to Christmas and Boxing Day, and Hanukkah is sometimes before the first day of winter, and sometimes after the first day of winter, because Hanukkah moves. There's lots of great holidays and special days in December, but the first day of winter is December 21st. <clears throat> A red cap with gold snaps. Do you see the snaps? On the second day of winter, my best friend gave to me two blue mittens and a red cap with gold snaps. On the third day of winter, my best friend gave to me three striped scarves, two blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. On the fourth day of winter, my best friend gave to me four prickly pine cones, three striped scarves, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. On the fifth day of winter, my best friend gave to me five bird seed pockets. Have you ever seen a snowman with bird seed pockets? I haven't, but I bet the birds really like it. Four prickly pine cones, three striped scarves, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. Oops, the pages turned too fast. On the sixth day of winter, my best friend gave to me six tiny twigs. Do you see them? Oh, I see them. It's like they're eyelashes. Five bird seed buckets. Four prickly pine cones, three striped scarves, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. On the seventh day of winter, my best friend gave to me seven maple leaves, six tiny twigs, five bird seed buckets, four prickly pine cones, three striped scarves, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. On the eighth day of winter, my best friend gave to me eight orange berries. Where are the berries? 
They made the mouth. Seven maple leaves, six tiny twigs, five birdseed pockets, four prickly pine cones, three striped scars, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. On the ninth day of winter, my best friend gave to me nine black buttons, eight orange berries, seven maple leaves, six tiny twigs, five birdseed pockets, four prickly pine cones, three striped scarves, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. On the tenth day of winter, my best friend gave to me Ten salty peanuts, nine big black buttons, eight orange berries, seven maple leaves, six tiny twigs, five birdseed buckets, four prickly pine cones, three striped scarves, two bright blue mittens, and a red cap with gold snaps. Where are the orange, where are the pine, oh goodness, where are the peanuts? Do you see them? Hmm, let's look close. They're the toes! Have you ever seen a snowman with toes? That looks pretty funny. Oh my! Was that number 12? No, that was number 10. There were 10 toes. <gasps> And then he's walking away. The end. I liked that story. Did you? Denise Fleming is one of my favorite authors. She's got some great books. I'll share some more with you another time. But today, I have one more story to read. I read a story by this author. Hmm just the other day, I think. It was a story about a hedgehog and he was giving away his winter things to other animals who were cold. In today's story, the hedgehog is gonna get a present. Can you guess what the present is? I'm not telling. Let's see what the present is by reading the story. Here we go. It's called One Snowy Night, and it's written by M. Christina Butler and Tina McNaughton. I think you're gonna really like this story. The cold wind woke up little hedgehog from his deep winter sleep. He blew, it blew his blanket of leaves high into the air, and he shivered in the snow. He tried to go asleep again, but he was too cold. Suddenly, something fell from the sky. Thud! It landed right in front of his nose. It was a present, and it had his name on it. Let's see what it says. It says, To Little Hedgehog, With love from Father Christmas. Do you know who Father Christmas is? Sometimes people celebrate a holiday in winter called Christmas. And there's this guy named Santa. And sometimes, depending on where you live, they call him Father Christmas. But not everybody celebrates Christmas. We just looked at the calendar. There's lots of other special days in December. But I think Hedgehog must because he is a present from Father Christmas. If he didn't celebrate Christmas, he probably wouldn't get a present from him. Little Hedgehog opened the present as fast as he could. Inside was a red woolly hat, hedgehog sized. He put it on at once. He pulled it in the back, he pulled it in the front, he pulled it on one side, and then he pulled it on the other. But no matter how he stretched it to fit, his prickles got in the way each and every time. Hmm. 
By now, the hat was too big for Little Hedgehog. He took it off and stared at it. Until at last, he had an idea. He gave the hat a little shake and wrapped it up again. He ripped off a piece of the label and wrote on the, re on the rest. Then he ran off to Rabbit's house. Rabbit was out, so he left the present at his door. Do you think Rabbit's going to like it? It was snowing hard as Little Hedgehog tried to find his way back home. The snowflakes flew all around and he wasn't sure which way to go. Oh dear, oh dear, he said as he wandered to and fro. I shouldn't have come out in this weather, but I know Rabbit will be happy to have a nice woolly hat for winter. Too much snow, said Rabbit when he got home. He saw the present lying on his doorstep. <gasps> What's this? He squeaked with delight, ripping off the paper. A woolly hat for me, he cried. He put it on at once. He tried it with his ears in. He tried it with his ears out. He pulled it this way and that way. But no matter how he stretched it to fit, his ears got in the way every single time. By now, the hat was much, much bigger. It was too big for Rabbit. So, Rabbit wrapped up the hat once again. He wrote on the corner of the label and he went to go visit Badger. Why are they writing on the label? When you get a gift or a present, do you have a label on it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the label or there's a card and it tells you who the present is from. So that's what they're writing on the label. The weather made Badger grumpy. Merry Christmas, Rabbit. I'm sorry, Merry Christmas, Badger, said Rabbit. Who's there? grumbled Badger. Merry Christmas, Badger, said Rabbit, and he gave him the present. A Christmas present for me, said Badger. Badger put the hat on and he pulled it down over his ears. How about that? he said, looking in the mirror. Very nice, said Rabbit. What did you say? said Roger. Very nice, shouted Rabbit, hopping off. Don't you like it? Badger said, turning around. But Rabbit was gone. Badger took the hat off. I can't use this hat, he said. I can't hear anything. Too bad. It's such a nice color. So Badger wrapped up the present and marched off to Fox's house. But he didn't use a label. Fox had gone out exploring. Here you are, friend, said Badger merrily when he saw Fox. A Christmas present just for you. Christmas? snapped Fox. Yes, said Badger. Christmas. It's a time to be nice to each other. And he turned and walked home. <gasps> a hat, said Fox, opening the present. What would I want with a hat? Then he looked at the hat again. He made two holes for his ears and put it on. Satisfied, he went on his way. The white fields twinkled in the moonlight. Fox sniffed around found a small trail. He followed it this way and that way and suddenly it stopped. There was something hiding under the snow. Do you know what it was? Fox dug and he dug until he found a small hedgehog. It was cold and it didn't move. Poor little guy, said Fox. 
he put the hedgehog inside the red woolly hat and carried it off to Rabbit's house. Rabbit and Badger were having supper. Look what I found in the snow, cried Fox as he burst into the room. They all looked into the hat. <gasps> a hedgehog, said Badger. What's a hedgehog doing out in Christmas time? He should be asleep. <gasps> it's my friend little hedgehog, said Rabbit. He must have gotten lost going home in the snow. Little Hedgehog opened his eyes. Hello, <sighs> he said sleepily. This is a nice, lovely, warm blanket. Is he in a blanket? The friends all looked at each other. Rabbit grinned and Fox scratched his head. Hmm, said Badger. I think this woolly hat is just right for a little hedgehog. Merry Christmas, little hedgehog, they said. But little hedgehog was fast asleep. And that's the end of the story. Did you like it? I like how the friends were sharing. Sharing is something I like to do with my friends. I share and I give presents to people I care about. Today, I have a game to play with you. I have three presents. And it's going to be your job to figure what's inside the presents. I have a big present, a medium present, and a small present. I'm going to start with the big present. Are you ready? It fits in this big. And I'll give you a clue. It sounds like this. Do you have a guess what it is? It's a big sound. This, I'll give you two clues, is something you use to drink and it has a handle. Something you use to drink and it has a handle. Can you think of what it is? Let's see if you're right. Were you thinking that it was a coffee cup or a coffee mug? If a cup has a handle, we normally call that a mug. My mug is empty. What would you want in your mug? Maybe hot chocolate, or maybe some apple cider, or eggnog, or maybe you want water in your mug. Mugs are like heavy cups, but they have a handle. That was my first gift. Are you ready for gift number two? It's a medium-sized gift. Here it is. Listen first so you can get a clue. Do you have a guess? Okay, I'll give you two clues. This can be an animal in the ocean. And it has five legs. It's kind of tricky, isn't it? Can you think of what it might be? Let's see if you're right. Did you guess a starfish? It is. Some people call it a starfish. Some people call it a sea star. It's the same thing. This is an animal that lives in the ocean. This one is not real. It's a pretend one. But underneath, do you see how there's all those different colors? When it's alive, those are like little suction cups to help it hold on to things. And do you see that little hole right there? That's his mouth. That's where he eats from. This is a starfish. I was tricky. 
we have one more gift, and it's the toughest one yet. Are you ready? Here we go. It's in this little bag. Listen first. Do you have an idea what it is? Okay, I will give you two clues. This is made of metal and it's used to open things. It might be used to open a door or a lock or even a car. Do you have an idea of what it might be? Let's see if you're right. It is keys. I have three keys on there. So they would make just enough noise, three keys. They're all different sizes. I had tricky presents to share with you today. I am so glad you came to join me though. Can you give yourself a great big hug? Oh, I love reading stories with you. I hope you have a great day and I hope you always remember how special you are. Until next time, bye-bye friends.